Journalism and news in general has undergone a tremendous transformation over the past few years, and it will continue to transform for the foreseeable future. We believe at the Annenberg School that we have to change. We innovate or we go out of business. We innovate or we become completely irrelevant to our students and the broader communication community. What we see is this incredibly sort of increasingly intertwined media environment where you can post something and share it with people or even not share it with people and someone will find what you post and, and use it in different ways and sort of reframe it in different ways. What's interesting about the term media convergence is that it continues to thrive in this culture where information and communications technology are bringing together various facets of our lives in ways never before thought of. We conduct our relationships across every media channel. We learn about politics across every media channel. The media convergence is a world where every story, every sound, every image plays out across every available media channel. We have three huge windows. And when you walk past those windows, you'll be able to look right into the studio. It'll be a converged media center with radio, television, online, print, digital, all in one place, with a single assignment desk. This is the sort of most modern, cutting edge thing that's now being done in professional media. The problem is, historically, we've trained journalists and media producers with a medium-specific mindset. We train print journalists, we train broadcast journalists, maybe we now train digital journalists. Well, those things are being banished. All of those divides are being banished. We are, we are melting them down and sharing resources and collaborating and doing things together. The students who come out of USC will be better prepared to work in an environment where there's not print journalism versus broadcast journalism, but a much more integrated space for telling news stories there. No one knows for certain where this game ends or where it will be in 80 years. But we certainly can see the trends and our goal is to get our students ahead of those trends so they can be effective in the 21st century and beyond.